welcome back to the channel everybody it's Roshan from boost district behind us is a video i've been really wanting to make for a long long time turbo versus supercharger what's right for you what you should do and what is best for your lifestyle and your goals in this video you're gonna be we're gonna be dissecting the pros and cons between each setup and what works best for you uh, here at Boost District, we've perfected both application. We have our 720 package with the Magnuson Lingen filter kit that we've been doing a lot. This is car number 82. This is the 82nd supercharger that we've been building here uh, on Boost District with our 720 package. And next to us is Mr. Ricky's 2021 C8 Corvette with our 21,650 twin turbo special. This car, both of them are amazing. The funny part of this video is they both came from Virginia. We're in Texas, so you know, just to get anybody confused, people from all over the country bring us their cars just to get worked on over here, and I'm really grateful for that. Uh, we've been really successful in our C8 stronghold and growing our market here, and I'm amazed and grateful for it. Just wanted to make sure that it's known to you guys on how um, we really appreciate the growth that we've had because of you guys here. Our shop is filled with C8s. We got for a full max effort head scan any package on that we have an 850 package right here we have another 850 package and above us right here is going to be the bd 1000 package for our twin turbo kit that is going to be coming on the next video so i'm really excited to do on that uh, behind us over there is a 427 eliminator lingen filter kit that we've been working on with lingen filter to build here i'm really excited to see how much power that thing makes with the 427 uh, and let's see how it does so let's jump into this video and enjoy this setup and uh comment down below to see what you prefer after watching this whole video do you want a supercharger do you want a twin turbo um i like both obviously we have the fastest stingray corvette with a supercharger on it and we also have the world's fastest e-ray twin turbo corvette or world's fastest e-ray period but it has our twin turbo setup on it that we've been uh, messing with and and perfected for this setup again 21,650 for this twin turbo kit $25,000 the starting price for the supercharger kit both making our 720 package so let's jump into this video enjoy it and um, let us know what you prefer all right so car number one here is mr. Ricky's twin turbo C8 Corvette that we just finished here at boost district this has our 21,650 installed and tuned that's the most economical and cheapest in the world and uh, we're gonna show you why it's beneficial and why you should do this on your car um, this car has been here for a couple weeks now getting built uh, we did our valve train kit and our twin turbo kit um, and also axles he wanted to add those two options in here while he was here to make sure everything's protected and all runs when he gets it back this setup is on 6 psi of boost and it will live forever on that power level stock fuel system handles it and uh, we really want to show you how we perfected this setup I want to show you guys how it looked how clean it looks so um on the engine bay everything looks factory besides our billet um boost reference port and also our catch can that we also added for him back here we're gonna put the cover back in place we're gonna overlay a photo of it finished uh when we sh we wanted to film this video showing you guys the intercooler so we took the cover off but i'm sure a lot of you guys also want to know if the cover fits yes it does fit we've already cut it and trimmed it um to show the water port for the ice tank um, so you can service it if you need to be uh, this car right here will never have to be maintained you follow your regular maintenance as far as the oil change and also your brakes and all that stuff is the same uh, as far as OEM goes uh, nothing differs on this your clutch is good uh, and all that stuff next thing that you I want to show you guys is the twin turbo location uh, let's get down here and show you guys where it is so over here the twin turbo is basically tucked up above the plastic canard down here and also up behind the bumper as you guys have known in my e-ray I've cut this portion out to kind of expose it because I want to show it off uh, when we go to car show we want to show what bit what this business is about uh, but in this car everything is tucked away cleanly and nicely he just wants the power and also show it a little bit but not too exposed um, the other concern that I've seen online from the comment section and also in the social media is that 
people are concerned about the turbo location and about air or debris getting in. Let me just tell you guys one thing. The, lo the, e the turbos are located right here. Your ECU is lower behind the bumper here. So if your turbo get wet, you have bigger problems. That's my least of my concerns and it's properly located on where the car is supposed to be. It could get tucked up higher, but we really don't want it to get hot on the bumper or anything like that. Uh, and we want to preserve everything as stock as possible. So you guys will have no issues with longevity and uh, as far as plastics or anything like that. So this car is dialed in. Our, our testament is our E-Ray. Our E-Ray makes 1,030 wheel horsepower. If that thing can handle that power with all those passes and all the abuse we put onto it, these packages are solid. Especially with a BD1000 package and the 850 package coming with a twin turbo setup. That's gonna be on the next video. Um, you guys are gonna see how good these things perform and uh, how we can grow with it. Let's not talk about this too much because we also have our supercharger setup right here. So this is gonna be dialed in too. This has been dialed in. As you guys know, we already have the fastest supercharged C8 Corvette. Uh, and we perfected that with the BD720, with the 850, with the 1000, and we might launch another higher level. We don't know yet. So we are testing it. It's in the testing phases. That's why the car is up in the lift. Um, but um, as far as this setup goes, the base 720 kit, we perfected that. 82 cars already. This is number 82. And uh, we're really grateful for Mr. Andrew's support, all the way from Virginia, helping uh, coming over here and trusting Boost District to work on his cars. So. Um, both of these cars are ready to go home. Let's jump into this driving video and let's jump into this segment and let's dissect how these two cars perform and where you guys stack up on it. Again, comment down below to see what you prefer. I'm really curious. I like engaging in our comment section and like commenting back and seeing what you guys think. So um, let's jump right into it and have fun. All right, so first driving impressions of the twin turbo C8 Stingray. Everything drives like stock. Functions work, tour, track, sport mode, all works. No check engine light or any funny business is here. Again, we're tuned with the stock ECU with Tartecta and Christian working the magic and behind the laptop and everything works great. So drives great, functions great. I could take this thing on a long, on a long road trip if I really want to. Uh, I definitely plan on doing that with my ERA still too. Um, so this car, 21,650, making what, 650 wheel horsepower and just downshift a little bit. And let's listen to this real quick. Just for the sound itself, it sounds amazing. I love this setup and uh, it's a really good driving car. Uh, it, it's a good touring setup. It just works great. Makes really good numbers on low amount of stress with the engine as far as the boost level, six pounds of boost. Um, no extra work really needed uh, and it will live for a long, long time. I really like this setup uh, and this car is pretty much dialed in for making 650 wheel. It, it'll run tens all day long. So um, it's a really good stage one package that we've built here at Boost District. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm excited to share this with everybody because I know for a fact our shop will be filled with these combos um, because it's, first of all, it's affordable uh, and it makes a lot of power and it's hard to beat. No other shop out there in the, in the world can offer this kind of pricing for what you get and what we can offer for you. Um, and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of advantages. So let's do a quick trip right here in Mexico. So. the sound itself it's definitely uh, really fun and uh, the power is good like 230 horsepower gained this car is ready to go home let's jump to our next car and uh, enjoy that car more so rolling in option number two superchargers this is easy for me to sell because we've done the most of superchargers of c8 in the nation and everybody loves it i love it my my supercharged c8 stingray is the world record holder for the fastest one currently 
Uh, and that's gonna, not gonna be beat for a long term. So that specific package, we've mastered it. We have the 720 package, we have the 850 package, and we have the 1000 package rolling out now. So uh, our car, our own car has the 1000 package, but it also started like this guy. This is Andrew's 2021 C8 Corvette, ceramic matrix gray, love the color. This is one of my favorite colors. Tastefully, tastefully modified. It has the AGM canards in the front with the um, 5VM splitter and the side skirts and it also has an RSC duckbill in the back. Love the way this thing looks with the Aerolari wheels. I know Chet is watching, shout out to you, love the wheels. Uh, we stock those wheels too in-house in here at boostdistrict.com. So um, let's talk about these superchargers real quick. Why should you want a supercharger or why do you want a turbo? Turbo kits are really good to make power with. If you want to grow with, if you want to race with, that's the setup for you. But for an all out daily driver, if you want the down low torque, if you want the, uh, the excitement on how the power hits hard um, on acceleration, that's what you want. If you want something that, that rolls in power, so the power comes in after like 3000 RPM all the way up and comes in really hard, that's when you want a turbo car. So it's perfect for racing and just track applications. So, um, as far as a supercharger kit goes, zero maintenance. You're basically gonna maintain it just like your stock car. Uh, no issues as far as the heating or anything like that because this setup does come with a big intercooler brick up top. And it also comes with two reservoirs. One is a filled reservoir here and one big tank under the car. Let's see how big the reservoir is for the supercharger so you guys can see how detailed the Lingen filter cooling is as far as the application of this setup. So you have a really big reservoir under the car here and you have all these coolant lines with a big high speed pump also feeding the supercharger so we can have really cool air uh, feeding it. So heat soak is a thing of the past. We're really trying to work hard on making sure these last and keep the cool air in it. So we have a big fan on the driver's side with a big heat exchanger on it. Let's see if we can show it real quick. Right here, there's a big heat exchanger that goes in place, uh, air to water intercooler um, that works really good on these supercharger applications. So the main downside of a supercharger is the supercharger takes power from the engine to drive. Um, so, you know, you lose a few horsepower to drive the supercharger because of all the belts, the rotor pack and all that, but you do get the amazing drivability of it. So uh, there's no maintenance on it. The supercharger requires an oil change every 100,000 miles, which a lot of you guys are not going to be driving that car to begin with, but if you do, 100,000 miles is your maintenance. Besides that, regular oil change, regular everything else. So follow your maintenance on your car. Um, for the 850 package that we have, like Mr. Robert has gotten and some other guys here, uh, that's when you know we build the motor, we do the clutch. But for a 720 package, it's just going to be the basic supercharger install, and then we do our bolt-ons too. So let's look at let's take a look at Andrew's car here beautiful car like I said um, this car has a lot of our package that we've installed to it and you guys can see how clean the install is this is what differs us at boost district we make sure everything's tied insulated cleaned with the preformed hoses and also all the techniques that we've learned this car's number 82 80 second supercharger that we've done here at boost district with the C8 Corvette that's the most in the nation that's that should tell you how much experience we've had on these cars another thing that he added last minute is a painted cover so this basic basically goes in place we're gonna take this out we're gonna put this in and replace it um, so this one matches the valve covers on this car so it looks really nice um, we did the headers we did the cat back exhaust we did the colder intake we did the axles so when if he tries to launch it the axles will just hold it per perfectly fine and also we did the valve train kit on the on the head so it can handle the rpms that we're gonna throw at it and also more power keeps it all reliable all nice and tidy and perfect packaging so this setup is hard to beat for a streetcar application we've done 82 of these now and uh, mr. Andrew is gonna be a happy guy let's go take it for a spin and let's go enjoy this and let me show you guys how hard the power hits on a tur on a supercharger car and compared to a turbo car you guys can make the fair comparison we do own the fastest e-ray in the world we do also own the fastest supercharged stingray in the world we kind of know what we're talking about here and we, we're glad to be having cars all over here uh, at Boost District that we can showcase our talents to your cars. Uh, we've done plenty of them and we're going to keep doing a lot of them. We do have a lot of cars in the pipeline. So um, if you guys want to get your cars built at Boost District, please send us an email. Uh, I'm going to send it, put it right here, installs at boostdistrict.com or you can call our wonderful sales team, 817-210-6699. I'm just going to overlay that down here too. Since we're getting so busy, I might add a lift also here right in the middle in front of that door. So we'll see. I don't know. I haven't thought about that yet. Kind of just 
planning it for now. I don't know if we actually really need it, but it might actually look like we do. So uh, let's go to drive this thing and let me start it up so you guys can hear it real quick. about the supercharged setup we're in this car in tour mode 45 miles per hour quiet it, the AWE track exhaust really pairs this car nicely I really like the setup it's a low budget exhaust but the quality is really good uh, welds are good the clamps are good hardware is good there's really no reason why the exhaust should be more expensive than what it is so it's properly priced we do lots of these by itself talking about the supercharger you hear a little bit of the wine while driving drives good drives like a stock c8 you know the bypass valve opens until you actually put load on it like right now you know and everything gets hyped up so everything sounds really good and uh works really well and uh so you know just basically go back to tour mode on it you hear that pop pops and crackles sounds really good and then you go back to tour it's all you know quiet again and then you go back to sport mode track mode and downshift a second hear the wine you know you get really a lot of options depending on your mood and driving style on how the car behaves obviously you get that with the turbo too but uh that's, that's as far as the wine goes on the supercharger a lot of people ask how does it how does it sound from the inside now you're getting a first person first person point of view i'm gonna be quiet for this stretch right here so you guys can hear it after i'm done explaining it so that's on track mode now let's go turn around and do the same thing in tour mode i just put it in tour now and you can see how quiet it's gotten already quiet I can even hear the loud tires that this car has it has obviously the stock Michelin PS4s but it is a little loud on the louder side that's how quiet the car is this car is dialed in it's perfect while we're driving it we had the laptop hooked up just to make sure everything is good um, and since it has to go home tomorrow so uh, both cars are actually both the turbo car and the supercharged cars that live about an hour and a half away from each other and it's going in the same trailer so that's a pretty cool uh, video or picture to take so yeah that's the drivability on it and uh, let's cut to a little bit of uh, of the driving portion of it and we'll go back to other videos that we've made of us going to Mexico with a supercharged car Now that you guys have seen both cars, what do you prefer? Supercharger, twin turbo. I can't answer that question for myself because I, have, I like them both. I really like the sounds of the supercharger, but the driving of the twin turbo is a different feeling too. Uh, the, to, the sounds of the blow off valve and the waste gates is cool. The one of the supercharger is awesome. I like them both. I really like how you can grow with the power. I, re I really like the power delivery of a twin turbo i really like the aggressiveness of driving of this setup especially our bd 850 package 
Um, this car drives awesome the way it is with the 720. The 850 is menacing. This car is really good. Can't wait to show you guys the 850 and 1000 on this setup. Um, I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Drop down below. I wanna hear what you guys prefer and why. If you have an explanation, let us hear it. I wanna know, I wanna, I wanna engage, I wanna learn with you guys. Drop it down below, enjoy it. I have some really good news for you guys on the next videos and also a lot of uh, surprises. Let's just put it that way. Um, I'll leave it here. You guys comment, like, subscribe, share this video to your friends, share this video to your family. My mom watches my videos. Sam's watch mom's watches this video. There's no reason why your moms should not be watching this. Let's let them know on what we're spending our monies for and uh, why we why we do this, right? Share the love, share the support. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys at the next one. BD out.